Hello, and welcome to episode two of Query Hacker. My name is Jess Trudell, and I'm here to share some tips and tricks that I've learned to make the querying process a little bit easier, especially if you are neurodivergent like me. So this episode, we're going to be talking about Query Manager. And Query Manager is a software that a lot of agents use in order to accept queries and to manage those queries uh, with a little bit more ease uh, than they would if they were trying to organize it manually via email. Not every agent uses Query Manager. Manager, but a lot of them do. So today we're going to talk about a little trick that I learned in order to save myself some time um, navigating to the each agent's query manager page. So for today's example, I'm going to use a specific agency website. So you can see here that I am on andreabrownlit.com. It's the Andrea Brown Literary Agency website. So if I were coming to Andrea Brown Literary Agency, looking to query one of their agents, where I would start is typically to find the specific agent that I want to query. Say I've gone through all of these different um, agency profiles. I clicked on each of the agents and I've read through what they're looking for and I've decided who exactly I want to query. Let's say I've chosen Laura Rennert. I would click on her agency, uh, her agent profile, and then I would find here a quick link that says click here to query Laura by. So I click on this link and it opens up a new tab. It opens up into Query Manager. So Query Manager up here at the top, you can see it says querymanager.com slash query slash Laura Rennert. So this is Laura Rennert's specific Query Manager link. In Query Manager, every agent has their own specific URL. So when you look at the top and you see this querymanager.com slash query slash first and last name, that's the same format for pretty much any agent that uses Query Manager. There are a couple very rare exceptions. Let's say that um, I, I don't want to query Laura Renner. For whatever reason, I changed my mind or maybe I realized I went to the wrong profile to begin with. What I meant to do was go to Jennifer Logren's query manager page. Well, I could go over here and I could go back um, and find Jennifer Logren's profile, um, but it might be hard to find. I might not know where to go and I maybe I don't want to start from scratch. I don't really need to click through all of these options again. Um, that's a lot of clicks to get there. What I can do instead, since I'm already here in query manager and I already have the first part of the string that I need, I can just type in Jennifer Logren's name. It says I've been there before auto-populated for me. So I have here querymanager.com slash query slash Jennifer Logren. And here is Jennifer Logren's profile. So how is this information useful? Knowing that each agent has a specific query manager link means that you can go directly to their query manager page. You don't have to click through uh, multiple pages of their literary agency website um, to get to the point where you're ready to query them. Sometimes you've already previously done the research. You already know that you're ready to query them. It's just a matter of going into that page and querying them. So when you go directly to the query manager page, you save yourself time and effort finding that query manager link. Sometimes you have specific agents that you know that you're going to look up over and over again, that you know you're waiting to open to queries. You don't have to uh, search through their website to try and figure out whether or not they're open or closed to queries. Query Manager has it right there. You could uh, create bookmarks for all of your favorite agents. You could have a dream agent uh, list on your bookmarks bar and just visit those agents' query manager pages as often as feels appropriate for you um, without stressing yourself out too much. One of the beautiful things about Query Manager is that right there at the top, you can see whether or not the agent is open or closed to queries. And if it were up to me, every agent that uses Query Manager would take full advantage of the description section at the top of Query Manager to put in their specific wish list, their MSWL, what they're open to, what they're not accepting, so that those of us who have difficulty in navigating agency websites could just go to Query Manager and we'd had all the information that we need in order to decide if we should query that agent. In the next episode of Query Hacker, I'm going to take this the next step and I'm going to show you how you can auto-generate the query manager links into a spreadsheet so that you can track the agents that you're querying automatically um, with those URLs clickable um, right from your spreadsheet. But for now, thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Query Hacker and I look forward to seeing you soon.